Hey, what's up guys? This is For Yam again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. With the Creeping Winter DLC, we received an awesome free content update. This one introduces the daily trials where you can take part in challenging missions to get the best loot in the game. Sometimes you will even be able to get your hands on daily trial exclusive weapons and armor. And today, I'm going to showcase one of them, the Ghost Kindler. Finding this particular item can be quite tricky because it is a daily trial exclusive but I will show you exactly in which places it can pop up and what you should focus on when you actually get your hands on one of these. I will talk about the best possible enchantments for this item as well as in which build this could actually fit. So guys, what are we waiting for? Let's check it out straight away. The Ghost Kindler guys, this is probably the most badass piece of armor that you can wear at this point. I think it looks very awesome. The design on this one was on point, but where can we actually find this shiny armor? So when you go to the redstone mines, currently I don't have the daily trial active, but on this screenshot you can see that we have found the ghost armor on this particular spot and then of course you will also be able to find it on the island realms. So when you go to the overgrown temple daily trial, the ghostly armor common or rare variant can drop right here and the unique variant, the ghost kindler, will be at this place as well. Of course, if we will be able to find this item on more daily trials, I will definitely add them to a little card in the top right of this screen. So, if we look at the enchantments of this piece of armor, the standard enchantments which you can also find on the ghostly armor, 30% chance to negate hits. I think this is pretty cool, so if you can get some tanky enchantments on this bad boy, then it will be quite strong. Also, briefly gain ghost form when rolling, but um, yeah, this is a very, very brief gain ghost form when rolling. If we actually look at the ghost cloak, this one has a 6 second cooldown, but the duration is a little bit longer, and I actually hoped for it to be exactly like this but the brief duration of the ghost form when rolling means literally when rolling and then the enchantment exclusive to this unique spawns fire on roll i was hoping for this enchantment to be a little bit more powerful because right now it actually doesn't deal enough damage to be interesting on the highest apocalypse difficulty but the epic looks on the Ghost Kindler guys actually make up for all the flaws that we can find on the enchantments. Right now with the Fighter's Bindings it looks a little bit sad, so you should definitely equip an axe to make it look even more badass. So right now I'm standing in front of the Creepy Crypt entrance and when we roll with this guy you can see that the trail it's leaving behind is pretty cool but um, as I said this doesn't deal a lot of damage. Also the duration of the ghost form is super short, it's only literally for the roll uh, duration so in my opinion this is also not very interesting. If you actually use the ghost cape itself it, the duration is a lot longer. I think right now it is time to check out the Ghost Kindler in action, so um, we're gonna search a bunch of mobs. We are currently on Apocalypse level 7 and I wanna try out this role because then you guys will be able to see how much damage it actually does. So I'm gonna activate my Boots of Swiftness right here. Oh, this guy actually killed all the creepers which I wanted to kill with the fire trail. But uh, here it goes guys, we have another chance of taking him down. There we go. So as you can see, the fire trail doesn't even deal enough damage to take care of the creepers themselves. Ah, we've got another guy with a fire trail. Pretty badass, but um, I'm just gonna have to kill you. Anyways, let's check out the damage of the fire trail on this creeper. So um, we also have a skeleton with a helmet coming up. They are pretty tanky. So what I'm gonna do is just line them up pretty nicely. Let's uh, just walk to this place. And um, I'm gonna activate my boots of swiftness and then roll very quickly. So the creeper itself only just died at the end of the trail and uh, the skeleton just ran away for some reason. But um, let's debug him right there and try this one more time. So I'm gonna use my boots of swiftness and then roll to the other side. So yeah, you can tell that the damage on this one is super bad. I'm gonna do it one more time. This guy survives it without a problem, so uh, in my opinion this is definitely something that you shouldn't really focus on. But the Ghost Kindler itself, the armor looks super badass. So you can tell that the Ghost Kindler doesn't have a really awesome standard enchantment kit. The spawn roll on fire doesn't deal enough damage and also the ghost form is way too short in my opinion, but the chance to negate hits is quite decent. Of course there are also some other pieces of armor that have a 30% chance to negate hits, but the other two enchantments are way better. 
But of course, guys, if you manage to find a ghost kindler with some really nice enchantments which you can put on them, this can actually turn out to become a very great piece of armor. The rolls on this ghost kindler aren't fantastic, but if you have to choose one of them, a swift-footed enchantment will make you roll faster for 3 seconds and if it is level 3 it will give you a plus 50% movement speed which is a lot. Another awesome enchantment which you can experiment with is the Acrobat. Reduces the cooldown between your rolls and if it is on tier 3 it will actually reduce the cooldown by 45%. And since we're focusing on some rolling enchantments with this one, I think Electrified will also be pretty cool. Rolling zaps three nearby enemies with lightning bolts dealing damage. And as you can see, 4034 damage is actually a lot. But of course, if you get your hands on cooldown, you can actually reduce the cooldown between the use of your artifacts by 27% on tier 3. So you will be able to make a speedrun piece of armor off this one. In general, I think this piece of armor is not fantastic, but of course you can show off to your friends with these fire trails. And guys, maybe we could light up the nether portal with it in the future. Who knows? If you were lucky enough to witness a drop for you, then I would really love to know which enchantments you got. Just leave it in the comments down below and of course, what you think is a really awesome new daily trial exclusive unique. Guys, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Helps me out a lot, I appreciate it big time and of course, make sure to subscribe. This is entirely free and there is so much more Minecraft Dungeons content coming your way. Right now it is 4am out so I wish you good luck hunting for this unique and I'll see you guys very soon.